So in this problem, we have some data, and a histogram is drawn to represent it. The 9 to 15 interval is represented by a bar of width 3 centimetres and height 10 centimetres. Find the width and height of the 0 to 5 interval. OK, so let's draw a bar okay, to represent the 9 to 15 interval. OK, so the 9 to 15 interval has 16 as its frequency. We know its width is 3 centimetres and its height is 10 centimetres. OK, so that's what we know. And what we need is we need to know the width and height of this other bar for the 0 to 5 interval which has 6 as its frequency. OK, so we should be able to work out the area that represents one person. That's what I want from this block here. OK, so first of all, I know that this is a gap from 9 to 15. So if you're drawing it, OK, so 9 to 15, I know that that's got to be 3 centimetres, OK? So that means that every one along has got to be 3 divided by, well, 6. So every one along is going to be half a centimetre. So each one along is going to be half a centimetre. So for this one, we're going from 0 to 5. So that means we're going 5 lots of half a centimetre. So it's got to have a 2.5 centimetre width. That's our first observation. Okay. Right. So the area that I've got here would be 3 times 10. So 3 centimetres times 10 centimetres. And I want to divide that by 16, because that's going to divide the area into 16 pieces. That's going to tell me the area of one person. So 3 times 10, divide by 16, and we get 15 over 8. So 1.875. 1.875. So that would be uh, centimetres squared per person. OK, I'm assuming that each of these is representing a person. OK, it doesn't have to be. Um, uh, it could be something else, but I'm just going to say it's a person. Because there's no context with this problem. So we've got 1.875 centimetres squared per person. OK, so then I know that the area of my bar here has got to be six lots of 1.875. OK, that's got to be the area of that block because I've got six people and I know per person it's got to have that same area. So if that's the area of the block, then I can divide it by the width and that should give me the height of that rectangle. So six lots of the 1.875 and then divide by 2.5. And we get 4.5. And so that's telling me that the height of my bar has to be 4.5 centimetres. OK, so I now have the width and height of the 0 to 5 interval.